back, everyone. Get excited because Christmas is only 10 days away, but there are still concerns as how it will look this year. There's COVID-19 and its multiple variants spreading all around, so some families might have issues meeting up. That's right, and with that said, even if you're apart from some of your favorite people this year, you can still enjoy those special moments together. Joining us to explain how that's possible is television host and lifestyle expert Yvette Rios. Yvette, thanks so much for being here this morning. Yes, good morning to you. Oh, so excited to be with you guys. Thank you. Now, this holiday season, of course, might still look pretty different for many of us. So what are some ways to connect with loved ones who might not be able to see their loved ones in person again this year? For sure, yeah, these are still a little bit uncertain times. Um, so, you know, one big saving grace for us, you know, throughout the past two years has been Messenger. I've used it so much um, to connect with my family, with friends, and this year they've launched so many cool new features. They've got all kinds of augmented reality backgrounds um, and filters that you can use when you're doing group video calls. It is so super fun. They've got Santa to hats and beards that you can put on, ugly sweaters. I mean, there is just so much to choose from and it just makes any conversation that much more um, festive um, and filled with joy. Uh, there also is, which I think is so super cool, the ability to play games with one another in the app. Um, so. You can open up Messenger, do a couple of video calls. Um, by the way, you can have up to 50 people on um, one group uh, call, which is pretty amazing. And you can play games. You can play Heads Up, for instance, which you may have seen on um, The Ellen Show, which is so super fun. Um, there's another game called Truth or Dab that's also really fun. <laughs> so it just gets, you know, gets the party started and makes any kind of virtual uh, connection that much more enjoyable. Well, Yvette, we can't forget about our youth and the kids and those families, and I'm sure that some of them may not be tech savvy. So do you have anything that you would recommend for the kids to share some of that virtual holiday spirit? For sure, yeah, kids need to have a good time too. And there's so many people that kids need to be in touch with, you know, grandparents, aunts, uncles, school, um, little cousins. So. Uh, Messenger Kids is actually an app specifically Ooh. for kids. Um, it allows kids to chat, use all kinds of fun and funny filters and backgrounds. They can have virtual pets in there. Um, they can send all kinds of emojis to one another. And one super cool feature that there is this year is that your child can text and chat with Santa oh, cool. and nice. use as a parent be Santa. So you can get ask them all those questions that maybe only Santa would get the real answers to. And maybe finally you'll find out whether they think they're naughty or nice. So I think that's just a fun way to continue the holiday magic virtually. 50 people. I had no idea that there could be up to that many people if you use it's a FaceTime feature or a phone call feature or both that you can use. So it's a video call within Messenger. So Messenger is a separate app that you download um, and you would open it up and there's a little um, icon of a video camera and you click on that and that starts a video call and then you can add people to the video call. Awesome, that sounds good there. And if people want to see more of your tips and tricks for this season, where can they get all of those from you? Sure, you can go to messengernews.fb.com. Alrighty, Yvette, the only downside, too bad you can't share your food through these apps. <laughs> right. That would be the only thing. <laughs> hey, you know, sometimes the food is so good, you don't want to share it. That's, That's true. Point. I'll keep it on my plate. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for joining us, Yvette. Yes, thank you, Yvette. Jack has your forecast up next. We'll be right back.